All right, we have here for sale on eBay, which of course is an online auction site, um, an original flown Soviet spacesuit worn by Savlania Savatskaya. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but she's a Russian uh, cosmonaut, still alive today. I think she's 68, and she she flew it in 1984. Um, she was the first woman uh, to ever actually walk in space and she's the second woman who has ever been in space and what makes this interesting is this this was a flight during you know the USSR Soviet Union while they were still in governing before the collapse like in 89 and Savitskaya Savitskaya that's how you pronounce her name she uh, she's actually still a committed communist and um, she said that if her parents were still alive and the collapse happened that they would they literally would just fall over dead um, now personally communism is not my favorite form of government but what we have here is a suit actually worn in space and selling right now for a quarter of a million dollars you know two hundred forty seven thousand you could probably you know make a best offer and you know you might be able to get it for two twenty two hundred twenty thousand um, and I think it's actually would be a good investment for several reasons. It it's it goes into several different categories. Number one, space exploration, but also um, it also goes with the communist factor, where you know commun communists would could say that you know there's being able to fly in space and and achieving uh, you know goals in space would be a, a tribute to the communist form of government. So I could see, you know, wealthy communists wanting to buy it, you know. Some people would argue Vladimir Putin's still a communist, and, you know, this Vladimir, I think, if you look up his net worth, is like, he's worth as much as Bill Gates. How he acquired that, that's another question. But, you know, something that's, that's with this so much history behind it, I could see a communist, you know, in China or Russia, um, heck, even the United States, purchasing this. Um... And it's a, it's it's also a, another thing for you know women's you know achievement being that she's the second woman to ever fly in space and the in the first to ever walk. Um, Oprah Winfrey, who's worth a billion dollars, I could see buying this particular um, item. Another thing is is this is owned in um, I'm assuming the United States because the auction's in uh, Nevada, uh, Las Vegas. So I can imagine some. Some person in Russia saying, you know, we need to get this back, back into our country. Maybe even the government buying it and put it on expedition or whatever. Um, there was a suit bought recently by a, a uh, that was flown by a Russian during the you know Soviet Union time, and I think it's so sold for like two hundred thirty thousand. So very interesting that you could actually buy this on eBay. Um, and we see here. It was the suit that she wore. It's called a um, it's called a, a sokol, sokol, and they actually still wear this particular kind of suit today. Uh, it's all one uniform piece except for the gloves. And you can see here. Here's another picture with the um, Soviet emblem here. And this is the actual suit that you'd be getting. That's another shot. And I'm assuming this is like the documentation. If you look here, here's some bigger pictures of it. Still looks like it's in pretty good condition. And they offer returns, so if you buy it, you can return it. Um, I think this is the documentation here that'll tell you that it's the original suit worn. But as we go down here, it says, doesn't get any rarer than this. Space suit worn by Savitskia, the second woman in space and the first to walk in space on August the 19th, 1982. Okay, I'm corrected. What in 84? It's 1982. Soviet cosmonaut Savitskia became the second woman to travel to space during the Soyuz T-7 mission. She served two tours of duty uh, on July the 25th, 84. Became the first woman to perform... Um, uh, conducting experiences. The walk lasted three and a half hours and was part of the uh, T2 mission. Very interesting. 
the suit. Yeah, very interesting. The suit, including the helmets and boots, is integrated. Only the gloves are removable. It's sealed by means of appendix, flaps, and claws. Savitskia was twice awarded the hero of the Soviet Union title. She was also a test pilot starting in 74. She set 14 international world records on MiG aircraft and three records uh, in team parachute jumping. She won the first. And actually, I think uh, she retired as an engineer, as a, um, um, a space engineer. It says, uh, Savitskia, a committed communist, was elected as People's Deputy of the USSR from 89 and People's Deputy of Russia in 90, a position she held until 92. She did not welcome the collapse of the Soviet Union in the early 90s. And she retired from the Air Force, Russian Air Force, and she was the rank of mayor. Um, in 96, she was elected to Deputy of State Duma representing the Communist Party and of the Russian Federation, and she was re-elected four times since then. She presently serves as Deputy Chair of the Committee of De on Defense and is also a member of the Coordination Council Pre Presidium of the National Pat uh, Patriotic Union. Yes, yeah, she was born on August 8, 1948. And she flew aboard the Soyuz T-7 in 82. So very interesting. She um, had a very interesting life. and. Um, if you have a quarter of a million dollars, I think this would be a good investment. If you get the right buyer in a few years, you might be able to sell it for half a million. Um, I mean, this is history right here. So I wouldn't buy it particularly just because of my political beliefs, but that's my personal opinion. But hey, whatever floats your boat. All right, thanks for watching.